dab, 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 dab. 2020, we're keeping the dab alive. One more. What is good? What's popping with you and your mom? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, The Laser, Lukey Luke, Lucas Hines. Yeah, dropping another video on you guys' head tops because uh, that's what our soldiers are fighting for. My rights to do these videos. <laughs> I've been looking at the numbers on my channel and to my surprise, you guys have been fucking with a video that I uh, I thought it was funny, but I didn't know it was gonna get this much pub. Uh, I did a video a couple months ago on, uh, it was a McDonald's training video. I was just watching this uh, McDonald's training video. It was hella cringe, and I was like, and most training videos are, they're all cringy as fuck. So I was like, yeah, let me, uh, drop a video on that so i did a like a mcdonald's review training of their training video kind of yeah i was like let me do another one because i i like doing those I, I hate the establishment fuck jobs so uh i selected another training video that me and uh yeah me and you are going to be watching today it is the store called save a lot you might not have one where you live at it's a grocery chain i don't even know we have some in Ohio, where I'm from. I don't know if there's some here in Texas, but we're gonna be watching a Save A Lot training video today. So, let me throw a dab in there one time. Let's just jump right into it. Let me quit playing around. Uh, are you guys ready to cringe? Are you guys fucking ready? Cause I am. Right off the bat, I have to stop it and um, bring this up. Isn't it funny? They always have that heavy bass. Whoever's playing the bass on this is fucking that bass up, though. They're fucking twanging that thing, boy. They're going in. But the fucking bass on this, <laughs> like Microsoft Word, like music that they always use, that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to meet the bass player who made this song because he's killing it. He's really killing that bass at the beginning of this. Save a lot. And you got that typical early 90s. Every training video has this music. I don't know who's making this, but yeah. Shout out to the bass player who whoever uh, did this because the bass on here is incredible. But anyway, let's get back into it. Welcome to Save A Lot. I'm Dina Flynn and the purpose of this video is to explain to you how the little things that you can do around the store can make a big difference and help us make the perfect store. For our future employees, for our customers, is we want them to know that they're welcome here. We want to provide them with the best customer service that we possibly can provide. So what is customer service? It's anticipating the needs of the customer before they even ask. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, have a good day, thanks. Some examples of how you could provide the best customer service. All right, gotta stop the video again. Did you see my man's here? I, of course, it's like a, one of them corny ass situational things that they always put in these training videos. But did you see how stiff his fucking walk was? This guy is a terrible actor. Oh, oh ma'am, that is heavy. Let me grab that for you. And then she was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and then he walked away. You're welcome, customer. Thank you. Please come again. He just step and walks out. Why does he walk to the shelf like that? Just mm, 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 save a lot. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I fucking love training videos. They're hilarious. Well, for example, we would have um, maybe a customer that's maybe a little shorter in stature, and some of our displays are high. So if you could see that that customer might need assistance in getting that item off the shelf, 
then you're one step ahead, and that's the things that we're looking for in this establishment. Some of the things that are important to us are providing the customer with an overall pleasant experience. So some of the things that would be included in these things would be to have a clean store, to have it well stocked, to offer a variety of products, to offer the customer a big savings on the overall amount of their grocery bill, to offer fresh produce, offer fresh meat, and to be able to give that customer a great experience while they're in the store. Once we have that customer in our store, that first impression is the most important impression. That first impression when that customer comes in the store will determine whether or not they will come back to our store. Uh, my name is Brian Rowlett. Uh, I've been working at Save Lot for about three years. I'm assistant manager, and uh, probably the thing that I like best about working at Save Lot would be the environment. It's, it's a really good environment, really fun to work around. Here we go. We, we found out the identity of the stiff guy at the beginning, the stiff ass actor. Just Brian is just, Brian is like a typical store manager name too. Like Brian, fucking Brian. You can tell this guy, he's a fucking chotch, Brian. He can't even like, he's not even looking into the camera. He keeps, he keeps forgetting. He's like, well, I've been here like, uh, like three years. And, um, uh, the best part of my, of my job is, uh, it's a really fun environment. <laughs> um, it's just not, it's, 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 it's just so fun working here. It's a really fun environment to work around. If you've been in a, have you been in a save a lot? If you've been in a save a lot, I've been in a save a lot a whole bunch of times. My mom is a big save a lot fan, so I've been a lot in a lot of save. I've been a lot in the save a lot. <laughs> I've been there a lot. Damn, that's a lot to say. Uh, but yeah. I've been in Save a Lot a whole bunch of times, and I've never seen any employees this talk about it. Or it doesn't look like a fun place. It doesn't look fun. Work is never like fun, especially working in these kind of environments where you're uniform. Like if you're at the office, I could see that could be kind of fun or something. You know, a little office party. But I fucking Save a Lot, especially this Brian guy. Like you can tell, like he does some weird shit. He does some weird shit. You can tell Brian, he does some weird, he's telling these girls some weird ass stories, the other cashiers, like, he's been the store manager for three years, like, he's probably, he's, he does some weird shit, I don't know, I just, I'm getting bad vibes, I'm getting awkward, weird ass vibes from Brian right now, and then they started up, dun, dun, dun. who's playing that fucking bass? Mm -mm -mm. Who is playing that fucking bass is killing it, man. They make me want to Google this shit to find out who the fuck is playing the bass. Like, they had to get, like, a professional, like... It might be somebody from... It might be Eddie Van Halen playing the fucking bass. I don't know who the fuck. But, yeah, that typical 90s music that they're playing every... I'm trying on video. And, of course, you gotta have the fake... Everybody smile. <laughs> Thanks for coming to save a lot. <laughs> the cringe, man. Please cringe with me. Let's continue. Save a Lot was started back in 1977 by a man named Bill Moran. Since then, there are 2,500 stores nationwide. Now, Richmond Save a Lot was started in 1993 by my family, my father, and my grandfather. Some of our goals at Richmond Save a Lot are to provide the customer with the best, best value that we possibly can. In order to do that, we try to cut 20 to 40 percent off of their grocery bill. One of the ways we save the customer money at Save A Lot is that we have custom labeling. In St. Louis, we have a art department that is dedicated to making custom labels for our products that we sell at Save A Lot. 
One of the important things that you can remember as a member of our sales team at Save-A-Lot is that you can help make that experience a memorable one for that customer and a positive one that he or she will come back and visit. That was a short little video, short little training video. And to be honest, it wasn't as cringy as the McDonald's one. If she's the owner, it's like, man, this stuff should just be coming off the dome. Like, why is she like reading off this card? Like, this is our values here at Save a Lot. This is what we do. My grandpappy, he just started this one. And it's been the family business. It's like, man, I speak from the heart, man. Like, what's, what's all these lines for, bruh? You just make it fake. You just, I don't know, it's just, these companies just make it fake when they add all this extra stuff. And they got, they're heavy on that song, man. Whoever is playing the bass, man, is killing it. Just killing the game, man. But yeah, that one wasn't, well, Save a Lots wasn't that bad. Well, it wasn't that long, though, too. So they probably have different ones. But I guess that's my, my Save a Lot. We made it through. We, <laughs> you guys made it through. You guys survived. Uh, I'm still alive. That one wasn't that bad. I think the worst part, the most cringy part, was Brian. <laughs> Fucking Brian, who's been there for three years. <laughs> Fucking Brian. I wonder. I might have to look this guy up on Facebook, cause they released his last name and everything. Yeah, I might just find Brian, see what he's up to. You know, Brian does some weird shit. Oh, Brian just gives me, he's just giving me weird vibes. Like, it's like, I was feeling uncomfortable with Brian as my manager. Are you that stiff and that awkward and weird? Like, it's like, yeah, I've been hearing about, yeah, do the math. He was like, mm, yeah, Brian. I don't want to say fuck Brian because I don't know Brian and he might see this. And he's already giving me weird vibes, so it might be a problem <laughs> if we ever run into each other. But yeah, I don't know. This Brian, he's, he's weirding me out, man. But anyway, you guys, that is uh, the video, I guess, today. That's the video for the day. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. A blessed one. Peace of the Middle East. Uh, remember to wash your hands because uh, Corona is going around. I'm not too, I'm not worried about it. It's the people that are just nasty as fuck, you know? I always keep some Lysol. I always keep some uh, baby wipes, you know what I'm saying, on deck. So, your boy's good, man. Dab. Dab, dab.